When we think of things that are tough, we normally think of diamond, Kevlar, superheroes, or that cool kid at school who stood up to a bully. Now, I want you to imagine taking one of those tough things or people and putting them in one of these situations. Putting them out in space, getting them stuck in Antarctica, or putting them all the way in the bottom of the ocean. More likely than not, the thing you just thought of probably would not have been able to survive. Why? Most animals just can't regulate their bodies at extreme conditions. But there is one creature that can, the tardigrade. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, were first discovered by Johann August Ephraim Goetze in 1773. These creatures were so small that you need a microscope in order to see them. You'd think that creatures that are so small wouldn't be able to survive in such extreme conditions. But water bears defy all odds. The key to their survival lies in their ability to go into a cryptobiotic state. Cryptobiosis is when an organism enters an ametabolic state of life. A state when all metabolic processes in the body stop in response to very extreme conditions. In a nutshell, these guys just sleep their problems away, which I could sleep off these midterms. There are five states of cryptobiosis, anhydrobiosis, anoxybiosis, chemobiosis, cryobiosis, and osmobiosis. Depending on the situation, tardigrades will undergo one of these states. Let's take a look at a few scenarios where tardigrades are able to survive, like extreme temperatures or deep space. So we humans aren't very good at taking in radiation and toxins. Anything more than 10 radiation dosages, and we go kaput. However, tardigrades can withstand up to 6,200 dosages of radiation. They do this by entering chemobiosis. What ends up happening is that they stop metabolizing any reactions, which shuts down processes such as reproduction, repair, and development. The halt in development is key, because if toxins cannot chemically start any reactions, then they cannot do any damage. Similarly, tardigrades are able to survive deep space and extreme temperatures through a process called anhydrobiosis. Anhydrobiosis is a process in which the tardigrade enters a desiccated state where all its cell membranes and cell structures are completely stabilized. One of the leading theories as to how this is possible is something called the water replacement theory. It states that tardigrades will take all proteins and non-reducing sugars, such as trehalose, and interact them using hydrogen bonding to replace water. This is applicable even in states such as extreme temperature and dehydration. So, tardigrades are tough, but are they as tough as... Actually, what are they as tough as? What creatures did you think were the toughest before you heard of the tardigrade? Let us know in the comments.